Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 side-scroller series. In today's video we are going to be continuing on with the player abilities and we are going to be creating a really cool slow motion ability. So when the player presses the free button, it will go ahead and make their game a little bit slower. Now this ability is going to be great for trying to get past obstacles, fighting off enemies, dodging bullets and all kinds of cool things and this will work in pretty much any type of game that you create. So so what we need to do first things first then is we actually need to get the graphic into the game for the little icon to go onto the screen. So to get that graphic it's quite simple. If you guys don't have the latest version of the side scroller resources already I definitely advise you guys go ahead and download it and then once you have downloaded it we need to import it into the engine. So I'm just going to quickly show you exactly where it is. So for me inside of my folder it's just called AB uh, slow motion. If you go ahead and open that up I will drag it onto the screen here probably not going to work but it's just like a little icon and I will show you what that looks like in the game anyway. So opening up the project let's go ahead and import it into the engine. So go ahead and press import in the content browser and there it is AB slow motion import that in and then just pretty much save this graphic into your game. So next things next we need to go ahead and open up the heads up display and we need to put this icon onto the screen. So drag an image into the screen and then from here set the brush image to AB slow motion and there you are. Once we've done that we need to go ahead and set the same X and Y scale from the other icons to this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy the X value on this one and I'm going to paste it into the X value on the new image. And I'm going to do the same thing for the Y as well. Just going to drop it in there. Perfect, and I'm just going to go ahead and line it up and just leave it there. So if we go ahead and compile and save this now, if we press play you can now see we've got the icon on the screen. It's time it's <laughs> Sorry, it's now time to start working on the back end of the system. It's quite simple. So the way we need to do this is because it's going to be affecting the player, go ahead and open up the side scroller character, give it a moment to load up and we're going to get started. So the way that we're going to do this is we need to create some kind of action mapping again for the number 3 instead of 2 or 1 like we have done previously and then we are pretty much just going to be playing around with the global time dilation. Um, so basically the global time dilation is pretty much the speed the game runs at. It's quite simple and very easy to do. I'm going to go ahead and quickly show you the ability sort of in the works what it will look like. So if I press 3 it's going to slow down, the player will fall nice and slow. When they're dodging bullets, obstacles and all kinds of stuff like that it's going to be working great. Now I've got all of this script here from the last episode, not the last episode but the last take that I tried to do of this video. I'm going to go ahead and delete this for now and let's get started. So first thing we need to do is we need to go into our project settings and then we need to go down to input and we need to create an, an action mapping. So give that a second to load up, input and then if we go down to action mappings I've got slow mo there already we just need to create it again. So add action mapping we're going to call this slow motion just like that and then the number on the keyboard that we're going to be using for that is just going to be the free key. So we got one for speed boost, two for gravity boost and three for slow motion. Go ahead and close that and then open up your blueprint again for the character. Inside of here right click and type in slow motion. This will give us our action event for slow motion. So now when the player presses the free button whatever we pretty much hook up to this little script here will be fired off and will run. So just like before the first thing we need to do is we need to check whether or not the player has got enough player fuel to be able to do that action to be able to use the slow motion ability. The way we're going to do that is by using a branch node and we're just going to run a bit of conditioning just to see whether or not the float for player fuel is greater than or equal to you know the correct value. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in. I'm going to get a reference to player fuel going to hook that up just like that and then the value that I've got to put in here this time it's not going to be 0.1 like the rest of my abilities it's going to be 0.2 instead it's a more powerful ability and I want them to have to earn more fuel to be able to use it. From here we need to go ahead and tell the engine to get rid of some of the player fuel because you know that's sort of how our system works. So what we're going to do is we're going to do float minus float and then we are pretty much going to take 0.2 away from the player um, you know, so it uses the fuel. Perfect. Cool. 
Next thing we need to do then is we actually need to do all the magic. We need to tell it to slow down the game. The way we're going to do that is by typing in set game di oh, set global time dilation. Once we've done that, we need to change this value. By default, it's going to be set to 1. If we set it to 5, it's going to be 5 times as fast. If we set it to 0 0.5, it's going to be half the normal speed and so on. So let me go ahead and show you that. So I'm going to ch change this to 5 to start with and I'm going to compile that. And if I press 5 and if I press 3 on the keyboard once I've got some fuel, you can see I'm running super fast and it looks really cool. We pretty much need to do the opposite of that now and we're going to set this down to 0 0.3. Now you guys can go ahead and play around with this value, test it out, you can change it to anything you want. For me 0 0.3 seems to be working just fine for me, it's not too slow, it's not too fast um, and it's going to sort of go with the pace of the game that I'm looking for. Cool, so as of right now, it's staying at that pace, but it's not going back. So what we need to do is we need to add in a delay of about two seconds, and after that delay, we need to set the dilation of the dilation back down to one. So I'm going to quickly add in a print string just to tell the player that it's active. So I'm going to go ahead and type in slow motion on, and then from this, I'm going to add that delay. I'm going to add in delay. And this time, instead of adding a delay of 5 seconds, I'm going to set it to 2 seconds. Because the game is slowed down already, it's going to feel a lot more than 2 seconds. This 2 seconds is probably going to feel more like 5 or 6 seconds. Once we've done that, we need to go ahead and set global time dilation. And we're going to hook this up and we are pretty much going to set it back down to 1. From this, we need to go ahead and add in the print string. So, and this print string is pretty much going to tell the player slow motion is now off. So slow motion off, compile it, and now let's go ahead and test this ability, and it should be working just fine. So if I press play, get the fuel, and then press free, you can see it's super slow motion, it's really cool, really nice, and then after a second it's going to go back down, the player falls, and it goes back to a normal speed. And that is working great. We have got so many more abilities that we need to work on. So, you know, just keep on following this series. We've got so much more. Guys, once again, thanks for watching. Stay awesome. Keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out.